Hey everyone, I'm Scott Stokely and I am disc golfing at the end of the world. And I mean that literally. If you're in the US and you want to travel to the farthest disc golf course or the southernmost disc golf course, you would wind up in Invercargill. As long as you don't fall for that whole Antarctica myth. But actually that is a, it's a nine hole course. You gotta either be in the military you got to be a scientist on a research mission with permission from the military or Chris Alto. So pretty much it's not accessible. Uh, there's also a six hole course on Stewart Island. And if I had played that course, I would call it the southernmost course in the world. But since I didn't make it out to Stewart Island, I'm saying it's not a course. It's only six holes. Therefore, I am playing the southernmost course in the world. I'm in Invercargill, New Zealand. And I, I asked them what the name of this course was and they said, Oh, we haven't come up with one for it yet. <laughs> so it's Queens Park, this golf course. They just call it the golf course. And I got to tell you right off the bat, I'm super disappointed because I've been planning this video for a while. The disc golf course at the end of the world. And this was supposed to look like Barrow, Alaska, like frozen tundra, maybe polar bears. I know they're not, shut up, uh, but polar bear type creatures and uh, pretend everybody's wearing parkas and uh, uh, I'm wearing a jacket and if you see me in shorts it's because it's actually not that cold. Uh, I am here with my bestest friends in all of Invercargill. I, I don't know your names. What, what are you guys names? Jono, Ethan, Steve, I'm Johnny. Uh, yeah and this is part of the Invercargill club. We're here to do a, uh, a clinic but we're going to show you all the course at the end of the world. I mean you cannot get any farther away from Colorado than the unnamed course in Invercargill. <laughs> what would you say? I'm thinking about like the scene from Star Wars. If there's a bright center to the, to the universe, we're at the disc golf course farthest from. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. The nerds will love it. Yeah, so, All right, yeah. so we're gonna just go golf. I'll show you this, this horrible, it looks like beautiful manicured green grass. Trust me, this is frozen tundra. It's, <laughs> it's, it's terrible out here, uh, but uh, We'll have some fun. So this is what is known as the frozen tundra of Invercargill Field. Look at this. Look how big these trees are. This is sick. And on the 18 hole course here, in these trees right here, in the middle of the 18 hole course, is an 18 hole family friendly course. But the big course kind of wraps around it. So they got both courses on the same property. Uh, one that's championship, uh, you know, certainly, you know, not family friendly. It's, you know, it's a hard course, it's par fours and stuff. But then they got the family friendly course on the exact same piece of land. So neat. Holy cow, they have castles too. Castles. I thought we'd have to get to Scotland to see disc golf castles. 
So check out the approach shot on hole six. Well, first off, look at that lie. That's safe. But look at the basket. Look at the hedge line. Look at the Mando. That's the shot to get to the hole. That's really bad. Okay, so I threw over this gigantic hedge. I'm on the OB side, but check this out. An electric fence, in case you throw OB by a little bit. Unfortunately, I threw OB by a lot, so I was able to get my disc back, but yeah, that's a pretty steep penalty. Uh, that's Australia level. Everything wants to murder you, this golf. The disc golf courses in New Zealand are so easy. Look at this, 54 meter hole. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to, hope we can see the basket. I'm getting eagle. I'm getting a birdie. Okay. So he says I have no putt for mine. <laughs> Look at it. This is first take. You should see in here. Look. There's like four trees in there. Oh my God. I know my course. It. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. oh my god, please tell me it's recording. I had a fantastic time playing 
in the frozen tundra of Invercargill. Uh, thank you all for showing me the course. Uh, thanks to the city of Invercargill. I, I know it's a challenge for, for ball golf to adopt this new sport and share the space. But I think after a while, you'll come to find that we coexist quite well. There's growing pains with this, but it's such a beautiful piece of land. And now like four times as many people get to enjoy it because as what's happening everywhere else in the world, there's more disc golfers than ball golfers. And so more people get to enjoy the property. That's like a win for everybody. Uh, if that pro shop starts carrying golf discs, they'll start making a bunch of extra money too. Uh, hint, hint. Uh, but anyways, thank you all for showing me the course. It's absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to put this video up on YouTube. Now I'm gonna get a hole in one and I'm not doing another take. So this is a, uh, just like my last shot, it's one take. Got a shot. So, got a chance. So oh my get God. it. Come on. Oh, oh God. That was so close. Oh, All right. Thanks, everybody. Oh, hey. Uh, go to scottstokely.net and buy stuff. Okay. <laughs> thanks.